You're coming too. What started as a dream is now our reality. Six years ago, we poured her ballast, raised every frame, cut every plank, and named her Red Aviva. Ready for life back on the ocean, this year we're determined yeah. to set sail. Did you look at that? I'd say that's the making of a fine cruising vessel. <laughs> We're Salt and Tar, and this is our life. We're happy to share, and thanks for joining us. Welcome back, everybody. We are lashing our solar array into place. The art of lashing has been around since probably the dawn of time. Ancient mariners crossed oceans aboard vessels solely lashed together. It takes time, patience, and attention to detail to be confident in your work. Garrett used to drive me crazy with how long he took meticulously lashing things into place. Whether it was a topper vehicle at highway speeds or on board through a gale and rough seas, I quickly realized how thankful I was. Our first boat together back in 2010, we sailed to Mexico. And just as we were crossing the border out at sea, our gooseneck, connecting the boom to the mast, exploded. Garrett jumped into action, and I grabbed the helm as he wrestled our writhing boom into place. Basically making a rope gooseneck, he lashed it back to the mast. We sailed like this for over 900 miles until we were able to find a replacement part. It never slipped. with me standing on the dinghy? Actually, yeah. You just keep the ass in over there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna end it? Like multiple little clove hitches. to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Siri. Can you help me pull this needle through? Your safety is at risk. Ask me to call emergency services or someone you trust. What? To learn more about what I can do, visit ah. Your safety is at risk, it's Siri it. says. Ask me if my safety was at risk. Yeah. <laughs> I think it is. But I'm wearing a harness, so I should be okay. <laughs> Some of you have asked why we didn't just turn the boat around. Short answer is Garrett's stubborn. <laughs> Longer answer 
It was also a weekend and Garrett didn't want to hog the dock space and could use the sea leg exercise. Finishing up the last one. I think I'm gonna put a coat of soup on the cheeks here and then soup the frame when he's done. And Michael's going up the mizzen now. Probably get the tar tape and serving done. How are those hands? They hurt. Pretty bad. Yeah. I could be using a Marlin spike and. Yeah, you saving know, yourself a little. That'd be. Smart, but I don't want to do smart things. I'm more of a just kind of brute force hit it with a hammer kind of guy. outside but uh we're doing the wiring Ouch. we're gonna install this through deck fitting and that's what this guy was just measuring for going to do for the solar panels to run the wires through the deck and also to ha leave some extra room for other wires in the future for other stuff that we're going to wire in that's going to be really cool and you'll see it eventually um, just going to go really simple um, with random parts that we had laying around and other random scrap pieces that will cobble together into something so i have these two fittings so I'm gonna make this into the through deck fitting I'm gonna drill three little holes and countersink them for uh, three little screws to go into the deck and then we're gonna drill a hole through the deck we're just gonna bed that on with a bunch of Sika flex and then put a hose onto it and we're just gonna run the hose kind of up and down put a big loop in it so no water will be able to get in there and then we'll probably once all the wires are in we'll just shove it full of this like you know it's like this putty kind of stuff you can get I don't I don't remember what it's called but it just stays malleable and gummy so you can just kind of jam it in there and I mean yeah theoretically if the whole uh, the whole stern gets pooped and is completely underwater sure some water could trickle in there you might get a little spitting in there but that's the least of your concerns if you know that's going on it'll be 
it'll be like a little squirt gun, if anything. So, <laughs> um, under under all normal circumstances, um, you won't have any water intrusion, so no worries there. And yeah, so that's the plan. So we're gonna run down the wiring. We're gonna join the two panels together in parallel, and then we're gonna run. I'm gonna join them in parallel, right? Yeah, I'm gonna join them in parallel. And then we're gonna run the wire under here, just bring it down under the davit, down, and then we'll, down there somewhere, we'll drill a hole through the bulwark planking, and we'll just run the wire out there, up through the hose loop, and down into there. So first, I'm just gonna drill the holes in here for the screws. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, but I want it to be reasonably something like that. Good. We hunted for a proper through deck fitting for back here, but either not right or too expensive, we sifted through our random collection and found two pieces we could make work. this with some Teflon tape and then we'll get the seek flex, goop everything up, squish it down. Quick little clean. Oops. <laughs> Mostly clean? Mostly clean. <laughs> Are you gonna smear some Cicaplex in the yeah. inside? Nice. There it is. So these panels, like most other panels, they come with these fancy 
connectors, connect, connectors, and um, I dropped one overboard. Oh. So. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, now we can't just uh, plug that one into that one and that one into that one. Uh, so we're gonna. Just uh, improvise. Kick it old school. Just gonna pull these bad boys off, and I've got a bunch of these three-way connector. Don't drop them overboard. You know it could happen to anyone, couldn't it, Ruth? I mean, I could wait and not wire them up now and order new fittings, but that sounds stupid. <laughs> I'll just put those three-way connectors on and then just heat shrink the crap out of it. throw up a little sheet to cover the panels. So hopefully he won't electrocute himself. We'll but no promises. <laughs> the connectors. Um, I might actually have to go this size down. The plastic on these wires is huge. It's like way <laughs> thicker than 10 gauge with the actual wire inside is pretty small. Huh. So you do both positives into there and then the wire that you got is the third leg. that stuff over there. Does that stuff have a name? Probably. It's a two wire thing. Okay. So I need to find the appropriate sized heat shrink for this. all the wires together Ooh. at the same time. It's okay. Because baby, you're a firework. I am a firework. Thank you for noticing. You're welcome. Bad <laughs> School electrical tape. Yeah. Finish her off. It's what we use for serving our rigging when we uh, parcel it, and and it's perfect for that. It's basically like tarred cloth tape, but it's it's actually it's old school electrical tape. It's what they used to use before what the modern stuff that everybody's kind of used to now. Which is like, what, some type of vinyl? I don't really know what it is, but... Vinyl, plastic, something? It always sucks when it gets old. <laughs> it doesn't last very long, especially if it's in the sun or in the elements at all. This stuff is nice because it's not, it's not necessarily adhesive, 
but it sticks to itself and it's pliable. I just get pooped on. Oh no. <laughs> did this. Really well, Garrett is doing a smashing job at taping the shit out of this <laughs> wiring. Yeah. I know you're impressed. <laughs> Done. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice big sausage there. What? <laughs> I think it should fit underneath the stern bulwarks. Yeah, sweet. It's getting cold and the sun has tucked behind the fog bank that's rolling in. <laughs> but we've got the panels paired together and the wire that's going to go through the deck run so we're just going to wait for the through deck fitting to dry and then we're going to get that little piece of hose that it's going to go up around and into through the deck um yeah mm -hmm. successful day what Mwah. And there are convenient holes there already. Down around under. There. We'll probably do something to keep it nice in line there. And then paint it black. Luscious locks are in our way. Wow! <laughs> Nothing but hair. <laughs> That's what we get for washing it. Oh, the old finger. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should just leave the open hole and go get beer. Ba -ba beer, 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 ba -ba beer, beer, beer. Peel it like a banana peel. You're having entirely too much fun. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm having a good time. We just got it night. The light. Until we get the hose and that dries. Wash out. 